So hey guys, JDP Gaming here, bringing you another episode to my Coventry City Career Mode series. From the last episode, we finished off the transfer window, made the signings we needed, we have our backup striker in Collins, have our weak spare right back in Mitchell. Not the strongest, may look in January for a replacement, but one of my boys' expectations was grow one of my youth players, and he has to feature in at least 10 matches as a sub or as a starting eleven. So actually, maybe pushing Mitchell up to the first team isn't such a bad deal because he will um, get one of my board expectation expect completed and it will improve my manager rating so you know it's sort of a win-win I guess in this episode we're looking just to get the whole of m the whole month of September done and here is the month of September as you can see we have five games um, quite a few crowded especially the forest one between the Derby and Birmingham but you know let's just get through this episode and play some matches and here we are we are being shown the championship table as you can see we are first QPR keeping up with us with 13 points as well, but Derby are down in 11th, so this game isn't a million miles away from us. It is a player debut for our mighty left back, Theo Hernandez. We do have him on loan, of course, but 77 rated. It's just awesome. Our best player in the team by a long way, and uh, hopefully has a great debut. Having a look at our lineup for this away match against Derby, as you can see, I do have Collins on the bench, so even he may get a debut. Um, appearance, but I mean, as well, otherwise my midfield and strikes stay the same, and it's just my defence has changed with um, Harris and Turnbull coming in next to Willis, and then of course we have the mighty Theo Hernandez at left back. We have a throw high up on the pitch now. We're going to throw it into the feet of Stevenson. Oh, I tried to play into the feet of Theo Hernandez. I did in the end. Go on, Malapa, <gasps> and he's missed the header. That was a perfect cross, and he's bottled the header. They got on into the box, Derby. They're just. They're keeping it. That's all that matters. Go on, Harris. Just hassle him. Oh, go on. Oh, they played out wide. Oh, they've found a gap. Shoot. Oh, it's a good save by Gunn. No, the rebound. Flicked. <gasps> oh, wow. And Ince has sliced the ball so much it's gone out for a throw. That was a good chance for Derby then. Have a throw now up high on the pitch. Going to throw into the feet of Lecco. Back to the feet of Hernandez. Can we get another cross in for Malaba this time? We do. He beats his man. And what a goal. I was a bit confused at what Carson was doing. But it doesn't matter. We have our goal. And of course it had to be an assist from Hernandez. And of course Malaba had to head it in the back of the net. What a goal. Come on. And look at this. Six goals now in the championship. What a debut season he is having so far. Got to keep with the man. No, they've played it back now. Back down the wing, oh, in the middle now. Oh, missed time to tackle with Moncur. Oh, they're looking dangerous. Come on, please win the ball, somebody. Tavidra has a shot. <gasps> Just wide. Whoa, how did that get past all my men? I don't know, but luckily for us, it went wide. As you can see, it, it was building up towards a sort of goal, but fortunately for us, it just missed. So, 10 minutes into the second half, and Derby really look like they want to get back in this game. And we're letting them with passes like that. We really are. I mean, so far we haven't been able to keep the ball. And they've, that's the first time they've given this ball away in the second half. Oh, go on, Munker. Have a shot. Cross shot. Oh, that wasn't half bad. Just over the bar, unfortunately. Into the feet of Jones now. I see the run of Mitchell. It may be a poor pass, though, to him. No, he's kept it alive. Can we get across? That was a shocking first touch. It's alright though, we've got a corner now with Malapa. Why is Malapa taking it? Stevenson. Okay. Ah, oh, comes to nothing. What a waste. Cross comes in now. Willis doesn't really clear it. Edge of the box now. Stevenson. I tried to come across him in the ball, I didn't know. They play on advantage. No, I can't get it cleared. Has a long shot. Oh no. <gasps> Oh my god, I thought that was a goal. Lucky. Oh my god, we have won. We have three points. I think that was probably the luckiest three points we've ever gotten. As you can see, Derby were really pushing towards the end of the 
second half and really they should have scored they had a lucky shot one of those shots was deflected came to one of the players one of them with gun and what a save honestly having a keeper and goal like that he will get us three points and like he did in this match and honestly i think we might be pushing for more than mid-table i think we might be uh promotion hopefuls right now so on to the next game the next game is a home match against nottingham forest as you can see i've mixed up the team a little bit rose comes in at center mid for stevenson then aaron pierre and leah hyde replace harry st turnbull and jamie jones gets his first appearance in goal uh and we've just passed the ball into absolutely nobody that's a great great pass zach cloth now oh Tavellios turned me too easy i thought that was a goal really and he's just missed, thankfully. We'll pass out from Hernandez, though. And Rose is just clattered. I think it's Ariyibi, I don't know, but a Forest player. And now they have a free kick. I hope they don't have any really good. I know Osborne's good, but I don't think he's taking it. Um, oh, Cloth is in the end. And, yeah, nowhere near. So, so far, it's really been a boring first half. Again, one of those... Oh, here we go. Malapa, oh that's a good save from Henderson. I was just saying it has been a boring first half and we just got breakthrough and unfortunately for us it got, it's a good save from Henderson though. Forrest now coming away with the ball on this far side. Oh my god, they've got so much space. The wing, the, the right back really pushes on, doesn't it? And he's just causing so much trouble because he's creating so much space. Sackcloth having a bit of a twinkle toes run. No! And it's gone in. The twinkle toe run ended up in a... Wow, what a soft goal to have conceded. Literally, I didn't go towards the man. I kept stepping off. Oh, Jones. He made sort of a double save. His arm and then his body <laughs> hits the crossbar and goes in. Oh, that's a really soft goal to have conceded. It's an no own goal, in fact. Wow, that was bad. I know my wing, my, um, my wing backs bomb on, but... I didn't expect us to be opened this much in the middle of that rose. Space for Malapa. Go on, please. Oh, it's a save by Henderson. That could have been it. That could have been us level, but no. Back into Kone. I see space for Kelly Evans. Cross shot. Oh, it's too hard. Oh, that's such a poor shot after a good spell of play. Play it over to Kone. Oh, it's a good dummy. I see a run by Kelly Evans. Can we get a cross in? We do. Gets blocked. We've got corner now. Come on, this looks promising. Uh, Moncur, can he whip a cross in? He does. Back stick for Willis. Far as the edge of the box. Lehigh. Lucky deflection. Come on. Can we keep it alive? We do. Moncur to Rose. Back to Moncur. Has a shot. Oh, that's a good shot. But Rice at the keeper and it's out for another corner. Going to play it short to Kelly Evans. Whip a cross in. He does. No one's there. Someone shoot. My God. Back out to Kelly Evans. Oh, he's turned his man too easy. Cross ground shot. No. What? Oh, my God. That was that, that ball was shouting for someone to smash it in the back of the net. But no one was there to get a touch onto it. And now Forrest are countering. Velios. Oh, no. No. Has a shot. Oh no, there we go. And it's as simple as that. We've gone 2-0 down. Oh, and we have lost our grip on this game now. A simple counter. I couldn't tackle them. And then I was in two minds as well to go to the man or stick with the runner on my right. And then Kasami has a long shot from the edge of the box with his left foot. And it beats Jones at his near post. He's not having a good debut at all. Oh, come on. We need to win the ball. We need to respond back quickly. Go on, Rose. Yes, he's won it. Through for Collins now. Come on. Can he get a debut goal? He's being caught by Mancien, though. Has a shot. Oh, and that's a good save by the keeper. There we go. That was the chance to get one back. And oh, it wasn't a good enough shot. Can we win the header? Can we do something right? We do. Munka in the middle to Rose. I see Leko make a run. Go on. Cross short goal. Oh, there we go. We've got one back. It doesn't mean anything. It just adds to Lecco's goal, goal tally for this season. It's a good finish as well on his weaker foot. He found some space to run into. And he put it in that top corner, didn't he? It's so disappointing though that it means nothing and we've lost this game anyway. I mean, I think that's probably the last kick of the game. I reckon the ref is about to blow his whistle any second now. The, yep, there he goes, he blows it. And so we've lost the game 2-1. It's such a disappointing result. Oh, we we didn't play well at all, but give it give um give credit where it's due. Nottingham Forest found the space in behind us, and as a result, they got two goals. The first and well, in 
in in my opinion, I think we sh we could have kept them out, i.e. if we had Gunn in goal, but that's a mistake on my behalf. But let's hope, hopefully we can bounce back and uh, get uh, some points in the next game. So on to the next game in this episode, and the third match is up against Birmingham City, as you can see. This is their lineup. I don't know much about them, but I know that the striker Shea Adams is a great young striker. He's got so much potential. But anyway, talking about my team, I've changed it up so much. So many of my players are tired. Gunn returns back, but we have Jones at right back. Then we have Robinson, Turnbull, Harris in the centre back. Stokes is, comes in at left back. Stevenson rejoins Kone in the middle. Then Gadjev, I've, he's now coming on for his first start at centre attacking mid. And the same with Beaven, he's coming in. He's also the captain for today's match, along, and he's up front with Malapa. Right, let's see if we can play a little bit better in this match than we did against um, Forest. Hopefully not be carved open as easily as we were in the last match. And what a great start by that great pass. And now we've just invited pressure on us early on in this match. This is not a good start at all. Robinson. Oh, he missed times his tackle. Oh, wow. That could have easily been 1-0 already. What a shocking start. We are not. We have not started this match at all well. Oh, through for Gadjev. Go on. Oh, he's in the crossbar. That was a great chance. No. What a counter, though. And it looks like this match might be end-to-end -end stuff, really. <laughs> it's, I mean, Birmingham City have had a great start. They, I mean, they've had the better chance to make it 1-0. Then we counter, and we almost immediately get our first goal from our first attempt. It's been a great game so far. Defending-wise, been pretty shocking. Oh, my God. We've been carved open again. And there we go, 1-0 on the 14th minute mark. Wow. Oh dear, how on earth are you supposed to do well, how on earth are you supposed to stop one of those shots? I was gonna say defend it. Well, I mean we could have marked our players a lot better, but that was a cracking shot. You know, give the player credit. What a volley. Well half volley in the end. Oh my god, a through ball. Wow, what a chance. We were so easily carved open yet again. Birmingham are looking so good so far, and I'm just gonna go past it to them. Yes, I have. Oh my god. No my... What? What are we doing? Go on. He's run away from his man. That's a poor pass over to Kone. But he's kept it going to Jones now. Cuts in on his left foot. I don't know what pass that was. But we've kept it alive. Stokes, where's the run down this near side? There we go. To Malapa now. Go on. That's a good... <laughs> twice Malapas had opportunities then and I don't even know what that was that was a shocking contact the, I know he gets wow he just fluffs that completely oh gee whiz so I'm making two substitutions I'm not happy with the team Malapas coming off he's had a shocking game so far and Collins is his replacement and I've also decided to take off Kony he's looked a bit tired and Isaac Cook has been playing well for us so far the young man so he's coming on for another appearance the cross gets blocked though, so we have a corner now. Let's see if we can whip this in with Jones. We do. Go on, Collins. He gets ahead to it. But unfortunately, it's just gone wide. Try and force him out for eight to cross it in instead of on the edge of the box. Oh, no. Good save by Gunn. It's kept alive though. Robinson, he clears it up the pitch to nobody and it goes out for a throw in the end oh no and Cook's injured wow brilliant absolutely fantastic he I don't even know how long he's been on the pitch wow so I've been forced into a substitution with Cook I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to bring Jones up the pitch Gadjev will drop back to centre mid Jones will go to centre attacking mid and Mitchell comes in at right wing back here we have a look at it again he just gets clattered to the floor I hope it's nothing serious because he's a good young centre mid come on over to Collins Gonna have a long shot. Oh, it's not a bad shot. And we've seven and it's the seventy-fifth minute, and we've only just made the Birmingham City keeper. We've just only forced him into a save. Wow, we've been shocking. Jones whips the cross in. It's a good cross. Stevenson. Ah, oh, it's just gone wide. And now Birmingham City have got a free kick. This has just annoyed me. We're gonna lose our second game on the trot now and the second game of the season. Thankfully it comes to nothing. We really need to push. I'm going to go attacking. Ultra attacking in fact. Edge of the box. Wow that took a deflection and a half. But what a save by Gunn. The amount of times he's kept us in this game. This game is not out of our reach. No it didn't take a deflection. But that's still a cracking save. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what that clearance was. I mean Mitchell had to make a... 
What another? I, so I just had to stop myself in tracks with what I was saying then. But what a save by Gun. I mean, good half volley by the player, but what a save. They've got another corner now, Birmingham. Let's see what they do with this. It's a good one. Gun's punched it clear. And only as far as eyes. Uh, they got it back on this fast, this near side though. Cross comes in. Can we clear it? No, we don't. Ah, oh, it's 2 0. Wow, game over. So Birmingham got the goal that they were pushing for. Just poor defending. I mean, Gunn couldn't have done anything there. He's had such a good game. I can't blame him. And it's just just too easy. I don't know what my defenders are doing. Final whistle has been blown and they've won the game 2-0. Honestly, I wanted this match over and done with after that second goal. We played so badly. I, there are no positives to say apart from Gunn is a good keeper. Everyone in this game was absolutely shocking. And to make things worse... The Isaac Cook injury, he's got a broken ankle, he's out for three months. So into the fourth game of the episode now, and I've completely changed the team up, as you can see. Um, you know, changes all over the place. Malapa and Beaven are up front, Monker behind, Coney and Rose, then we've got Kelly Evans, Leah High, Pierre, Turnbull, and Hernandez, and then Gunn stays in goal. We are playing MK Dons, as you can see. They are bottom of the league. They've only picked up one point so far, so I expect nothing less than three points after our two defeats of which we've played shocking i ex i do expect us to bounce back and get something from this game I do, and you know actually i'm gonna say on a limb i don't want one point i want all three nothing less than three points the reason why i've changed the team up so much is because when you before a match you have like the uh pre-match you know sort of um analysis of what might happen and then predicting the result what a cross and Malapa's bottled another header. Wow, he's not having a good couple of games, is he? But anyway, as I was saying, um, they basically suggested a possible lineup, and I've copied the lineup that they said. So that's why we've had so many changes. That's why Willis isn't in the team, and neither is Leko. But they're both on the subs, and I'm most likely going to probably bring them both on as a substitute. Oh, what a ball to Moncur. Good first touch as well. Bottom left. No, straight to the keeper. That is, well, a good save by the keeper, but not the best of shots, though. Let's see what they do with the free kick. They've whipped it in. Oh my god. Someone tackle him, please. Oh no, we just fell it. No, no. <gasps> wow, the shot's just gone past the post. That was close. Over the top now, I see space for Beaver. What a ball it is as well. Go on, please make it 2 0. Oh dear. In the middle now, to Monco. Is he going to have a long shot? Why not? Let's go for it. Oh, that wasn't a million miles away. Oh, good block from Turnbull. It's right though. They've still got it. MK Dons. Danger hasn't gone just yet. Not a million miles away from the MK Dons player then. Stevenson cuts inside. Brilliant. He's going to keep going with it. No one's going to tackle him. Free from Malapa. Go on. Fake shot sit. <gasps> Taken down. And we have a penalty. What play by Malapa. Cuts inside with the fake shot. And then the player just takes him down. No card because it wasn't a malicious fa um, tackle. As you can just see, he just trips Malapa, and we have a penalty. Beaven is the man to take it. I'm going to put the target on. I'm going to put it top right. Oh, I've hit the post. Wow. We've kept it alive, though. Cross it in. Oh, my God. So the last three penalties I've taken, they've all missed. Oh, my God. Oh, good pressure from Stevenson. He's one up high. Going to have a long shot with him. Oh, that's not a bad effort. Pierre yeah, doesn't win the header then. Oh, but Leahy wins the tackle. Through for Moncur. I see space for Thomas. Go on. Go on now. He sees that bottom right corner. Not quite the shot he wanted. And the follow-up from Cooper's right at the keeper. They're playing it on this near side now. God, let's just do a bit of defending. Let's not bottle it now. Please. No. Oh, my God. Is it the post? Clear it, please, Kelly Evans. Wow. And almost, we almost had the three points nicked right at the end then from NK Dons, but luckily it hit the post. Wow, did we need a second goal to confirm the three points, but it doesn't matter. We have come away with the three points and we have bounced back from the two losses with a 1-0 win at NK Dons. I'm not going to complain with this result. So here we are, the final match of this episode, and it's against Oxford, the second bottom, so it should be another three points. But changes to the squad. Really, it's our strongest 11, but normally, but our normal starting centre attacking mid of Moncur, I've taken him out for a rest and I'm starting Jones there in Tuleko. Back to Stevenson. Through for Jones. Oh, he's got the pace. The lucky deflection then. Oh, and is it the post? I thought that was 1 0. Come on. In behind goes Leko. Go on. 
Has a fake shot. Keep going. Pull it back. He's been tackled. Penalty, surely. Yes, we have a penalty. So Leko has it at his feet. I'm going to let him take it. Uh, let's see if we can score this one. Yes, we have. There we go. Finally, we have scored a penalty. Our three previous ones have all... I've missed them. I've missed them. I've fluffed them. But this one, solid penalty to the left-hand side of the goal. And we have the lead 1-0. Come on. They've got it on this far side. They play it up the line. Oh, Turnbull tried to come across an intercept. It didn't really work out. Cross comes in. <gasps> no. How have they gotten a goal? No. Shocking defending. Oxford United were my bogey team last year. They won both fixtures away and at home. I believe 1-0. And they've somehow gotten a goal in this. Shocking defending. In the middle of the park now to Rose. What a ball through for Jones. Right through the middle of the defence. Come on. Oh, come on. So after that miss, I'm making a double switch. I'm, that was too too bad for me to keep Jones on. So I'm taking him off for George Moncur. Hopefully he can be a super sub. And I'm also taking off Pino Malapa. I want more pace up front. And I think Thomas will probably provide that for us. Through ball for Leko. Oh, I just didn't... Just wasn't hard enough the ball for Leko. Any faster the ball. And I think he would have been through on goal then. George, to George Moncur has a long shot got deflected through for Hernandez oh when you just wanted that little bit of composure he didn't have it and he blasted it over the bar oh and the final whistle has been blown and somehow we have dropped points at Oxford United if my team shooting was better we should have won this game we should have had three points settled because we couldn't put the ball in the back of the net more than once in the first half We've bottled three points and we've we've dropped two points rather than gained one point. We really have. It's just awful. And there we are. That's the end of the episode, guys. So thank you all for watching. As you can see, I'm showing you the table right now. We have indeed lost our top spot. We sit in third now, but it's very close. Look at that. I mean, from, from us to seventh, there's only one point separates us. So getting in a promotion spot it's not a um, guaranteed thing I mean we've uh, I mean we're four points adrift off first and second now due to losses and a draw but there we are that's the end of September another month down another month closer to the end of the season and January but anyway if you have enjoyed the episode then do please leave a like and I'll see you all in the next episode bye